Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're talking about how you can play a song by Fantasia called Without Me. And we're going to end up capoing this on 2nd fret. And actually, like, through most of our song, actually, we only have kind of two chords going on, but this is really cool, uh, cool lick that kind of happens in the keyboard part, where you can kind of play 2nd fret on the D string twice, and then open B, and then open G, and then we're going to play 4th fret on the D, open G, 4 on the D, open G, 4 on the D, and then open G. So we got two, two, oh, oh, four, oh, four, oh, four, oh. And then that lick kind of happens twice, and then we kind of change the first fret on the D string twice. And then kind of keep the rest of the lick the same, going open B, open G, and then four on the D, and then open G, four, oh, four, oh. One, one, open B, open, four, oh, four, oh, four, oh. But that lick would kind of get backed up with an E minor chord and a B7 chord. So on the first part, we got an E minor. And the way you play E minor, first finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret, second finger on the D string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an E minor chord and it sounds really, really sad. And then over the second leg, we would kind of back that up with kind of an E7 chord or a B dominant 7 chord. And we played B7. First finger is going to go to the D string on the first fret, second finger on the A string on the second fret. Third finger on the G string on the second fret, and the pinky on the high E on the second fret. And if you kind of strum just the A string to the high E string, that sounds a B7 chord, and it sounds really, really nasty, and it's kind of supposed to. And that chord actually kind of helps point back to the E minor chord. So we got E minor, da da da, E minor, E minor, da da da, E minor, B7, da da da, B7. B7. But a lot of times with a song like this, to make it more interesting, I like adding something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. And we'll talk about another one later on. And if we just took the E minor and just tried that a lot, we'd have E minor with a down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. progression. We have E minor with a down, down, up, up, down, E minor, down, down, up, up, down, E minor, down, down, up, up, down, E minor, down, down, up, up, down, B7, 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 down, down, up, up, down, up. And we basically be repeating that until we get to our chorus part. And there's this really cool little walk down actually in the bass part actually on our chorus where you can kind of play 2nd fret on the D string, and then 1st fret on the D string, and then open D, and then 4th fret on the A string, and then kind of end on the 3rd fret on the A string, and then we'd be going to 2nd fret on the A string. So the note you're actually kind of playing is going E, D sharp, D, C sharp, C, B. So we can kind of back those up with some chords. Actually, we can start out with the E minor chord, and then the first fret on the D string, the D sharp, we get back up with the D7. But then when we get to the open D, we can play a D major chord. And when we play D major, first finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret, second finger on the high E string on the second fret, and third finger on the B string on the third fret. And if you kind of strum just the D, G, B, and E, that sounds a D major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And then for the fourth fret on the A string, actually, it's a C sharp note. And normally you back that up with kind of with, with an A major chord. And the way you play A major, first finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret, the second finger on the G string on the second fret, and third finger on the B string on the second fret. If you strum all those together, that sounds an A major. It sounds really, really happy. And then from the A major, we can go into a C major chord. When you play C major, first finger is going to go to the B string on the first fret, second finger on the D string on the second fret, third finger on the A string on the, a, or on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like a C major chord to kind of back up that third fret note we're playing on the A string. And then from there, we'd be going to a B7 chord at the very, very end of that. So we try our strum pattern with our chorus. We kind of have E minor with a down, 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 up, down, B7, down, 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 up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, up, A, down, down, up, up, down, C, down. though to play along with Fantasia instead of starting on an E minor chord she's actually starting on an F sharp minor chord so to play along with the recording what you want to do is take a capo and if you put the capo on second fret 
and now your E minor chord is really an F sharp minor chord. Your B7 chord is really a C sharp 7. And when we get to it, the D major is really an E major chord. The A major is really a B major chord. And our C major is really a D major chord. To take that from, from the very beginning that way, you kind of got that intro like where you got the two, two, oh, oh, and then the four, oh, four, oh, four, oh, two, two, oh, oh, four, oh, four, oh, four, oh, one, one, oh, oh, four, oh, four, oh, four, oh, one, one, oh, oh, four, oh, four, oh, four, oh. And if you're a little bit more adventurous, you could actually kind of throw in the bass note for the chord underneath it. So you could start with low open E, and I'm going to kind of do this hybrid picking using my pick for the low basses and kind of my fingers for the lick. So you could kind of start off with with kind of that E note kind of backing up that lick. And then when you get to the, to the B7 chord lick, you could kind of add in the A string on the second fret to kind of get that note in there. 4 0 4 0 2 and 1 together, 2 1 0 oh, oh. 4 0 4 0 4 0 or you could just kind of strum through it. And then we have E minor down, down, up, up, down, 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 B7 down, 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 up, up, down, B7 down, down, up, up, down, B7 down, down, up, up, down, B7 down, down, up, up, down, E minor 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 down. three times through the song but it only happens one time through so we tried that that strum pattern through our chorus we have E minor with a down down up up down B7 down down up up down B down down up up down B down down up up down C down down up up down C down down up up down B7 down down up up down B7 down down up up down up and then we'd be going back to kind of our verse progression and then kind of repeating those parts through the song. Now, one other thing I would think about adding to the song, though, is bass notes. And a lot of times on the first down of the down, down, up, up, down, up, you could throw in a bass note for the chord to kind of simulate playing with a bass player. And this can really kind of help out, especially if you're playing solo. So it's almost like playing two parts. So what you can do is kind of take the E minor and do the bass on the low E string, and then try your down, up, up, down, up. So E minor with low E bass, down, up, up, down, E minor with low E bass, down, up, up, down, E minor with low E bass, down, up, up, down, and then on the B7 chord, you have the A string for your bass. So with A bass down, up, up, down, B7 with A bass down, up, up, down, B7 with A bass down, up, up, down, and then when we get to the D chord, you have the D string for your bass. D bass down, up, up, down, B the D bass down, up, up, down. On the A chord, you have the A string for your bass. A with an A bass down, up, up, down, and on the C chord, you have the A string for your bass on the C chord too. So we tried our bass down up up down up through our, our verse part we have E minor with Louis bass down up up down E minor with Louis bass down up up down E minor with Louis bass down up up down E minor with Louis bass down up up down B7 with A 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 bass down up up down E minor with Louis bass down up up down E minor with Louis bass down up up down E minor with Louis bass down up up down E minor with Louis bass down up up down B7 with A bass down up, 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 up down up. And if we tried that idea through our chorus, then we have E minor with the B bass down up, up down B7 with A bass down up, up down B with the B bass down up, up down B with the A bass down up, up down C with the A bass down up, up down C with the A bass down up, up down B7 with the A bass down up, up down B7 with the A bass down up. Up, down, up. So we would kind of experiment with that idea too. And for myself, actually, what really feels good with, with the song actually is something called a 16th note strum pattern. And what I mean by that is right now, if you're tapping your foot to the beat, so what I mean by that is if you're tapping your foot to the beat, like right now we're kind of dividing that into two parts. So one, two, one, two, and that's called an eighth note. What a 16th note is, is where you divide that beat into four parts. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And what I think would be a lot of fun to work with the tune is a down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, 16th note strum pattern. And what I mean by that is if you take the E minor and do a down on one and a up on four of the 16th, you'd have one, two, three, four, down, up, down, 
Second beat, if you do a up on two, down on three, you have one, two, three, four, one up, down, 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 one up, down. And then on the third beat, if you do a up on two and a up on four, then we have one, two, three, four, one up, up, one up, up, one up, up, one up, up, one up, up. And on the last beat, if you did down, up, down, right along with the one, two, three, four, you have down, up, 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 down. Together, you got down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. Now working with that feel though, the verses are gonna kind of feel like you're you're doing half as many chords as we used to. So we try that through our verse form. We'd have the E minor with the down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, E minor down. Actually, you could kind of throw those in, and what I like doing is kind of a bass, up, up, bass, up, up, down, up, down, up. So we try it that way. We'd have you e mind with the bass, up, up, bass, up, up, down, up, down, you mind with the lowly bass, up, up, bass, up, up, down, up, down, you sound with the A bass, up, up, bass, up, up, down, up, down, you sound with the A bass, up, up, bass, up, up, down, up, down, you mind with the bass, up, up, bass, up, up, down, up, down, up, you mind with the lowly bass, up, up, bass, up, up, down, up, down, you sound with the A bass, up, up, bass. Up, down, up, down, you sound with A bass. Up, up, bass. Up, up, down, up, down, up. So we kind of dig on that. And now through our chorus, though, because of the timing of the chords, what sounds really good is to kind of take the E minor and do the down, up, up on the E minor, and then the down, up, up, down, up, down on the E7, and then kind of do that same thing for the D and A. D on the down, up, up, A on the down, up, up, down, up, down, and then hit the C chord with the whole pattern. C, up, up, down. With the whole pattern. Up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. So all the way through that chorus part, you got E minor with the down, up, up, E7 down, up, up, down, up, down, D down, up, up, A on the down, up, up, down, up, down, C down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, B7 down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. And if you wanted to, you could kind of throw in your basses on that. And then you have E minor with the bass, up, up, D7 with the A bass, up, up, down, up, down, D with the D bass, up, up, A with the A bass, up, up, down, up, down, C with the A bass, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, D7 with the A bass, up, up, bass, up, up, down, up, down, up. So you got E minor with the low E bass, up, up, D7 with the A bass, up, up, down, up, down, D with the D bass, up, up, A with the A bass, up, up, down, up, down, C with the A bass, up, up, bass, up, up, down, up, down, D7 with the A bass, up, up, bass. Kind of our verse part with that E minor with the bass, up, up, bass, up, up, down, up, down, E minor with the bass, up, up, bass, up, up, down, up, down, B7 with the A bass, up, up, bass, up, up, down, up, down, B7 with the A bass, up, up, bass, up, up, down, up, down, up. The A bass will be alternating between those two. And in the very end, there's kind of this big hit on the E minor where you could do just kind of kind of down, kill it on the E minor. But that's the basics of how you can strum along with Without Me by Fantasia. So good luck!